there are literally millions of people being moved through elevators in this city uh, every minute of the day. The elevator constructors have been pushed out on strike by a consortium of four employers that control basically 95% of all of the elevator maintenance in the city. We're not asking for any more money. We're actually just asking to work under our same current contract that we've been working under for the last how many years and that our fathers before us and uh, mothers before us fought for. From my perspective, I believe it's uh, corporate greed. It's more about the companies wanting to make money than being concerned with the safety of the public or the workers that are there doing their job and putting their lives on the line every day to get this done. In 1972, my brother-in-law sat out, he picked it as well, he got me in the trade, my son got in the trade, my other son is in the trade, and it's a fantastic trade and we're here supporting, uh, supporting what we believe in and we feel we're doing the right thing. Now we're here today to send a message to the people that are on the top floors of these bank towers. The owners of Cadillac Fairview and Oxford Properties and all of these other major property developers that are very happy that the four big companies that are forced to on strike are still providing service to the bank towers while they let senior citizens and people in homes for the aged or high-rise buildings in Rexdale and Scarborough stand and wait for hours and hours to get an elevator. Right now, because these workers have been on strike for over one month, it means practically every elevator in this city is out of compliance from a health and safety standpoint. My biggest concern is public safety right now and the fact that we have to be out here to fight for the public because they don't have a voice for themselves. We offered to work during negotiations. Uh, they refused, they said no, so that uh, they created a strike. That's why we're out here and uh, the, the same thing continues. We're the silent uh, army that takes care of the elevators in the city. I uh, do maintenance, I rush to trap passengers, and I just like to get back to work and do what it is I do. If there's an accident in this province, if anybody happens to die because they're trapped in an elevator or have a heart attack, let that responsibility rest squarely on the shoulders of the employers who are keeping you on a picket line and will not allow you to go back to work.